If you're wondering whether you should be listening to Mufti Menk or Yasir Qadi or Omar Suleiman, then watch this video until the very end. You see, we live in very, very strange times where anyone can just pick up a phone, make a TikTok account, post a video speaking their mind, whatever is on there, and they would reach thousands of people around the world. And since people's minds are tuned to love drama, refutation culture is something that kind of brings the popcorn to the table and goes pretty viral pretty quick. And so, so long as the internet exists and so long as these platforms exist, there will always, always be this drama. So I'm going to give you a principle which if you hold on to, you will know who to listen to and who not to listen to. And the principle is as follows, that the example of someone who carries beneficial knowledge is like the example of a branch of a date palm that is carrying many, many fresh ripe dates. So much so that it becomes heavy and it brings the branch down and bends it towards the floor in a state of humility and humbleness. In other words, someone of knowledge, a person of knowledge, is someone whose tongue becomes heavy of just refuting people and getting into online discussions which have no benefit and so on and so forth. But the opposite is also true that when you remove these fruits from the branch, the date palm stands tall and firm as if it's in a state of arrogance. And when that person speaks, you'll realize that all they do is just get into these little arguments and debates and refutations, and they don't actually offer anything beneficial to the people. As the Arabic saying goes, Al-insan kullama kathura ilmuhu qalla inkaruhu That when a person increases in knowledge, his argumentation, his refutation, his neglect, and so on and so forth, decreases more and more to the point where he becomes level-headed. And so when you see people who have dedicated their entire lives studying the deen of Allah and all they want to do is just benefit the people and you see them benefiting millions of people around the world being refuted by people who no one knows who they are, they've just watched a few YouTube videos and barely understand Islam themselves, then you know exactly who to listen to and exactly who to treat as just background noise as if it's a little insect flying around you in the room. Hopefully that makes sense.